In this video, I'll show you how to use Gemini AI for content creation with a focus on content writing as well as image generation. This will be a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial, and even if you're not using Google Gemini, which is the tool I'm looking at right now, it's Google's large language model chatbot, similar to ChatGPT in a lot of ways. And if you're following along in this tutorial, you should be able to use ChatGPT or any other chat-based AI writer as an alternative, but I think that Google Gemini is available in a basic version in all or most free Google accounts. So if you have a Gmail account, a Google Drive account, those are free, and I think it does come with access to at least a basic version of this. I am using the premium version, but it's not their most advanced version because my Google Workspace account is not really high tier. So if you, and whether you have access to the free version of Gemini or the free version of ChatGPT or the free version of a different AI writer, you should be able to follow along and use this exact same method. And most of the prompts that we're going to use today are going to come from my AI marketing prompts list, which I'm looking at right here. This is a Google Sheet that contains all of my favorite most used writing and marketing prompts. And you can get access to this for free by following the link in the description. There'll be a landing page and there you can sign up for my email list. And once you're on my email list, I'll automatically send you access to this list. And over on the left, we've got the names of the prompts and a lot of them have links to tutorials just like this one. So if you wanna be able to copy my prompts and create your own versions of them really easily, just visit the landing page that's linked in the description and you'll be able to get access to this. By the way, my name's Alex. I'm a digital marketer with Lover Fighter Writer. And if you find this video helpful, I hope that you will leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with anyone that you know who would benefit from it. And this video is actually going to pick up from where my last video left off. In my last video, I showed how to create what's called a custom gem, which is just a version of Google Gemini that has custom instructions so that it writes in a different style and from a different perspective than it otherwise would. And so if you want to learn how to create a custom gem, which would be very similar to creating a custom GPT, I will link to that video in the description as well. And in the last video, I created a custom gem for a brand that I'm developing. And then I tested it out and kind of fine tuned it with a few of my prompts. The first prompt that I used was write a list of entertaining aspects and a list of educational foundations related to combat sports, fitness, and weight loss. And just to show you how this prompt works, this is actually the second prompt on the list. I call it edutainment. And you can see it's write a list of entertaining aspects and a list of educational foundations related to content topic. So where I said combat sports, fitness, and weight loss, you could put whatever topic you want. Then Gemini gave me a pretty good list of both of those things. And I picked two of them, which were heroic narratives and exercise science. And I said, combine heroic narratives with exercise science and list 10 topics that have been popular in the news and or social media this year. And it came back with 10 pretty solid topics. And then I tested out a few copywriting prompts so that I could fine tune the custom gem instructions a little bit more. So that's where we're at. And from here, I'm going to focus specifically on content creation. And we're going to take a copywriting or sales oriented approach to this content creation. And that just means that I'm not going to try to create content that's just for engagement or just to get followers. I'm going to focus on creating content that is meant to be seen, but also that the people who see it will at least be somewhat likely to click through and buy what I'm selling. And I'm going to create a new prompt right here, and I will add the prompts that I create during this workflow to the list so that they'll be there when you sign up for it and get access to it. And if you like the video, that'll help remind me to put the new prompts in the spreadsheet. We'll start with, I've created a product called the Wellness Locker, which is a health and fitness focused, focused community, including a large bundle of courses and other resources. My main target audience is men age 30 to 55 who want to 
lose weight, get healthier, and be part of a community. List 10 interest triggers or hooks that could grab my target audience's attention and lead back to my product. Let's try that. All right, so it came up with some pretty good hooks, but it has written all of them like ad copy. And these are meant to be organic social media posts. And even if I was going to write ad copy for this product, I would probably want it to read like an organic social media post. Because for example, with Facebook ads, you have to be very careful about saying anything in your copy that sounds like it could be critical of the person reading it or making them feel bad. So saying something like, what if dad bod isn't your only option would potentially be risky. So would anything about doctor hinting subtly about lifestyle changes. And again, these are good hooks, but they're just written like product copy. They're written like the beginning of a television commercial about some medical product. And that's not how I want them to sound. So the next prompt that I'm going to use is going to be rewrite the hooks from first person perspective, making them so that the author is telling their story rather than implying, insinuating facts about the reader. So basically I'm saying, I want you to write this as if I'm talking about these things from my own experience, not as if I'm some faceless pharmaceutical company that's trying to manipulate people into taking something. And because I actually went through the process of gaining a lot of weight and then losing a lot of the weight, I've lost almost all of it at this point, I've actually gone through all of these things so these are all hooks that I can use in real social media posts telling my real story, but I want to do it in a way that is engaging and provoking discussion, not in a way that is trying to make the reader feel uncomfortable so that they might buy my product. All right, it's done a decent job of this, but some of them are still phrased a little bit awkwardly. So we're going to workshop this a little bit more. And now I'm going to use a variation of one of my prompts in this spreadsheet. So this is the headline optimization prompt. So I'm just going to click in this cell and hit control C and then come back to Gemini and paste it in here, but I'm going to modify it. So I'm going to say that we've already written the 10 hooks so I can get rid of this part. I'm going to say display the hooks in a table where column A is the headline and column B is a score out of 100 based on how engaging they are order the table with high scores first. This is basically just getting the AI to evaluate its own work. And I'm gonna see if I agree. All right, I actually agree with the order it put them in. In fact, the top four are really the only ones that I'm interested in. I can use some of the ideas from these ones, but I don't like them very much the way they are. And this one is actually my favorite in terms of the story it's telling, because this is a very relatable experience for me. Like I said, I gained 80 pounds a few years ago, but I don't really like the way it's phrased or the way it's framed. For one thing, some people don't know that gassed means running out of energy or running out of oxygen. That's kind of an athlete specific thing. And I would like a much more emotionally evocative way of saying this instead of just, I used to get. So I'm gonna say, right, five better versions of, paste this here, use a different powerful emotional trigger at the beginning of each, at the beginning of each, and avoid using jargon such as gassed, which some people may not understand. We'll see how it does with this. And I think the fourth one is the best, but I still want to rewrite it a little bit. So we'll say continue writing the following post for a Facebook group. I've never felt weaker than when I couldn't walk up a flight of stairs without losing my breath after gaining 80 pounds. All right, I really like this. I would probably edit it a little bit before publishing it, but I think it's solid. And it included like this call to action section at the bottom. I don't really know why it did that, but I could just tell it not to do that in the future. 
And basically, if I wanted to create a week or a month's worth of content for this brand promoting this product, I would just go back to these suggestions and I could get it to generate more suggestions. I can get it to improve the hooks. I can get it to come at them from different angles. And then I can turn them into specific triggers or specific content ideas. And then I can have it write the post for me, or I can start the post with like half a sentence like I did and have it write the rest. And now we'll take a look at using Google Gemini to generate images for your content. And since I've already been having this conversation with it, I'm going to start by just saying, draw three eye-catching visuals that could be used to accompany my post. All right, I guess it's not good at doing multiple images at the same time. And that's a pretty good picture, not really something I would want to use, but pretty impressive image generation. So we'll try a bit of a different prompt. We'll say, create an aspirational graphic design that pairs well with my post, but does not feature any people. That's interesting. Not really what I was going for. So we'll try editing this. We'll try saying, create an aspirational graphic design that represents my weight loss journey, but does not feature people. That's kind of disturbing, actually. All right, I should... I think I need to give it something more specific. We'll say that shows a silhouette of a man pushing a boulder up a hill. That's some classic symbolism for you. All right, I really like that one. So now that I have that, I can just download it. And for the most part, I like to create the base assets like the image or the background image and then do the rest myself in Canva or Photoshop. But I think you can also ask it to put text on it. And I'll say include bold text my fitness fight. Hey now, I really like that one. I like that one even better than the other one. So basically I can just download this image, copy the social media post above. And I know that that took like 10 minutes, but if I wasn't going through it step by step and explaining everything as I'm doing it, I could do that in like a couple minutes. So I could literally create a week's worth of content in 10, 15 minutes. And I can and do create a month's worth of content very quickly when I need to. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Also, you can request a prompt or a tutorial if you'd like me to add something specific to my marketing prompts list. Remember to visit the landing page in the description so you can get access to this spreadsheet. And also in the description, I'll have links to other tutorials that you might find helpful. Please do remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow so that I can reach more people. I appreciate that, and I'll talk to you in the next video.